This isn't just a new engine, it's a question whispered beneath the noise of traffic. What if everything we thought we knew about fueling cars is wrong? Not just outdated but unnecessary. No pumps, no plugs, just water. Plain, silent water. Toyota, the same company that made hybrids mainstream, is now chasing something far bolder. A future where cars don't pollute, don't pause, and don't cost the earth to keep moving. It sounds impossible but the prototypes are already built, the chemistry is ancient, and the consequences, if they're right, could change everything on the road. What exactly is Toyota planning and why is the industry so quiet about it? Gasoline and EVs are both broken. Look around any city and you'll see fumes, noise, and gridlock. But it's what you don't see that's worse. Nearly every car is part of a global system built on burning fuel, over 1.4 billion vehicles, and most still rely on gasoline or diesel. It's reliable but it's also destructive, not just to the planet, but to people. Gas prices spike with every crisis. Breathing the air near highways raises your risk of cancer. And while electric vehicles promise a cleaner future, they're not the savior we hoped for. Batteries depend on rare metals mined in places where children work under dangerous conditions. Charging takes time, and the infrastructure is still patchy in much of the world. The truth is uncomfortable. Both gasoline and electric vehicles carry hidden costs, and most of us don't get to see them until it's too late. That's why Toyota isn't just making a better engine. They're rewriting the rulebook. Because if there's a way to power a car using something as simple as water, it could pull us out of this mess without replacing one problem with another. Why EVs can't finish the job? Electric cars were supposed to be the clean brake, quiet motors, no tailpipes, just plug in and drive. But the closer we look, the more cracks we find. The biggest is cost. Even now, electric vehicles cost thousands more than their gasoline rivals, not because of the motor, but because of the battery. Lithium-ion batteries are expensive to make and worse, expensive to mine. Entire mountains are stripped in Chile and Bolivia to extract lithium. Cobalt, often sourced from the Congo, comes at a human cost, child labor, unsafe mines and no accountability. And then there's time. A full charge at home can take half a day. Even fast chargers demand you sit and wait far longer than filling a gas tank. That's fine for daily errands, but for long trips, it's a deal-breaker. Infrastructure lags behind demand, especially outside major cities. Charging deserts are real. Electric cars still pollute, just not where you see it. The factories, the mines, and the energy grids behind them all leave scars. So while EVs are a step forward, they aren't the finish line. If there's a way to move past batteries altogether, people are ready to listen. And Toyota knows it. Hydrogen, the element everyone ignored. Before batteries took the spotlight, there was another idea quietly floating in the background, hydrogen, the lightest element in the universe and one of the most abundant. But for decades, it was written off. Too expensive, too unstable, too futuristic. Yet now, as the cracks in battery-powered progress grow wider, hydrogen is stepping forward again. And this time, it's ready. Unlike batteries, Hydrogen doesn't need to be mined in bulk. It can be made from water, and when used in a fuel cell, it doesn't burn or explode. It simply reacts. Hydrogen meets oxygen, electricity flows, and the only byproduct is water vapor. That's it. No smoke, no smog. What makes hydrogen powerful isn't just how clean it is, but how fast it works. Refueling takes minutes, not hours. The range isn't a limitation. And unlike batteries, which get heavier with more power, hydrogen stays light and scalable. Long-haul trucks, planes, buses, hydrogen thrives where lithium struggles. For Toyota, hydrogen isn't a backup plan, it's the future they've been quietly building toward. While other automakers doubled down on EVs, Toyota kept working on something few believed in, and now they're ready to show why everyone else might have bet on the wrong tech. So, Toyota's water-powered breakthrough doesn't involve magic or myth, it's electrolysis, splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. What makes their version different is just how efficiently they've managed to make it work. By using renewable power like solar or wind, Toyota's engineers are able to power this process cleanly. High temperature electrolysis helps cut electricity needs and, you know, new materials reduce costs by avoiding those rare metals. The hydrogen they extract can be stored and used later, with no emissions, just water vapor. It's a complete cycle. Water goes in, powers a car and comes back out as steam. Toyota didn't invent electrolysis, they just made it practical. Their focus isn't only on driving but on producing hydrogen sustainably and affordably. They're building a system, not just a machine. No charging delays, no mining horrors, just water, air, and power. Toyota's design answers a critical question. 
Can we fuel transportation without damaging the planet? If this technology scales, the answer might be yes, without compromise and without carbon. Here's how Toyota's hydrogen-powered engine works. First, water is split into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. The hydrogen is then stored in secure tanks built to withstand heat and high pressure. When the car is in motion, hydrogen enters a fuel cell. There, it reacts with oxygen from the air, producing electricity. That electricity powers the motor. And the only exhaust? Just water vapor. The experience is seamless. Refueling takes under 5 minutes. And Toyota's tanks, made from carbon-reinforced materials, are strong, light, and, honestly, pretty smart. Sensors detect leaks instantly and shut the system down. Venting systems keep passengers safe in emergencies. The system doesn't just work, it works cleanly and quietly. No long waits, no smoke, no engine roar, it feels like driving a high-end electric car, but with one big difference, there's no massive battery underneath. What Toyota has created is not just a new drivetrain, it's a clean, efficient replacement for everything combustion engines left behind. Meet the Mirai Toyota's flagship hydrogen car. The Mirai is more than a prototype, it's Toyota's proof of concept on wheels. First launched back in 2014, this hydrogen-powered sedan was built to show what's possible. Its latest model travels over 400 miles on a single fill, and refueling is done in just 5 minutes. It delivers 182 horsepower, 300 newton meters of torque, and a quiet, luxurious ride. But the real magic is under the hood. No tailpipe emissions, no batteries to charge, just compressed hydrogen reacting in a fuel cell to create motion and mist. Toyota refined every element, from the storage tanks to the fuel cell stack, making it safer, lighter, and more efficient. The Mirai isn't a car of the future. It's a car of now, already on roads in Japan, California, and Europe. With each version, it gets cheaper, stronger, and more viable. Toyota isn't asking for belief. They've built the case piece by piece in metal, water, and motion. Lessons from the frauds of the past. Water-powered cars have a messy history. From Stanley Meyer's infamous dune buggy in the 90s to JPX's questionable claims in 2008, the concept has attracted fraud more than science. Promises of cars that run solely on tap water collapsed under scrutiny. Courts called them scams. Scientists pointed out the energy violations. So when Toyota says water-powered, it's natural to raise eyebrows. But this isn't about splitting water inside the car, it's about creating hydrogen outside it, storing it safely, and using it efficiently. Toyota's version is grounded in chemistry, not mystery. They've filed patents, opened labs, built models, and they've already put hydrogen cars on the market. The difference here is scale and trust. Toyota isn't claiming the impossible, they're refining the achievable. While others promised miracles, Toyota delivered the method, and now, with decades of research and development behind them, they're finally ready to move this idea out of fiction and into traffic. Beyond the car hydrogen's bigger purpose, Toyota's vision for hydrogen doesn't stop at cars, it's buses in Tokyo, generators at the Olympics, low-waste fuel in Thailand, its long-haul trucks refueling in minutes, its planes, ships, factories, and even entire buildings running on water-sourced power. The biggest barrier? Infrastructure. There aren't enough hydrogen stations yet, but Toyota's investing in the build-out, partnering globally to close the gaps, especially in California, Germany, and Japan. Hydrogen is clean, dense, and storable. Unlike solar and wind, it doesn't depend on weather. It can back up a grid or power a city block. And while electric vehicles dominate headlines, hydrogen is catching up, quietly, powerfully. With zero-emission transport, fast refueling, and deep scalability, hydrogen could rival lithium's grip on the future. Toyota isn't just making cars, they're creating a foundation. If they succeed, water won't just be essential for life, it'll be essential for motion, industry, and progress. And the first engines to prove it are already on the road. This isn't just about cars, it's about control, about who gets to decide what powers our world. Toyota is betting on a future where we stop tearing up the earth to keep moving forward. A future where every road leads back to water. Quiet, clean, infinite. They've turned chemistry into momentum and they're not alone anymore. Governments are watching. We stand at the inflection point where decades of research and development are finally converging with growing environmental urgency and technological readiness. The pieces are falling into place, improving fuel cell efficiency, better hydrogen storage solutions, growing networks of refueling stations, and increasing buy-in from governments and industry. The coming years will be decisive, as more automakers join the hydrogen race, whether through their own fuel cell programs or by licensing Toyota's technology, 
We'll see if this can grow from a promising alternative into the dominant paradigm. The challenges are immense, but so too are the potential rewards, a genuinely sustainable mobility ecosystem that doesn't ask consumers to compromise, that works seamlessly within our existing habits and infrastructure expectations, and that could finally break our centuries-long dependence on burning things to get around. If Toyota and its growing list of allies succeed, the revolution won't come with fanfare or dramatic disruption. It will arrive quietly, steadily, one hydrogen station, one fuel cell vehicle, one converted fleet at a time. The true mark of its success won't be in making noise, but in its absence. The missing roar of combustion engines, the invisible plumes of greenhouse gases, the silent retreat of our climate crisis. And when historians look back on this moment, they may well identify it as the point when we stopped defining progress by how loudly our machines announced themselves and started valuing how little they left behind. Not smoke, not carbon, not compromise, just vapor, clean, harmless and fleeting, as the quietest revolution in transportation history gathers speed.